Hey, what's up the YouTube? Ben here with yet another new video for you guys today. Uh, now today is going to be a quick updated video on how you can get the latest emoji on your Android device. Now I've made videos about this in the past, uh, so you may be like, you know what, you've already showed us, why are you showing us again? Uh, well, a lot of people I don't think realize that you can get the latest and greatest emojis, not just the ones from like iOS 8 and below, uh, but the ones that are on iOS 9.1 point whatever else Apple has it set on right now. Uh, but the latest one, so you're going to have the thinking emoji, the roll your eyes emoji, all the different gender changes, all the new groups and fads and, you know, girl on girl. I think those are included. I don't know. Uh, but all the latest emojis. Now, I do want to preference this with saying that you do have to be rooted to use this method. So a lot of casual phone goers, if you're watching this video and you don't know what root is, uh, you may want to do a quick Google search. Unfortunately, I can't go down the list and tell everyone how to root their device because every device differs just a little bit differently. Uh, so if you do want to check that out, again, simply go to Google, type in how do I root my Galaxy S6 or Galaxy Note 5, Nexus 6P, Moto X, and it'll there'll be a step-by-step -step guide on how you guys can do that yourself. It normally only takes a few minutes. Uh, it might be a bit of a learning curve, but again, it's quick and easy uh, to do so. Uh, so anyways, guys, if you guys want to learn how to do this, let's get into that video right now. All right, guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously turn on your phone. If your phone's not turned on, I don't know what you're doing, but you're doing something wrong. So turn that phone on and open up the Google Play Store. After you've opened up the Google Play Store, all you're going to need to do is type in Emoji Switcher. Download that, open it up, and then in the middle of the screen, there's going to be an option that says Set Emojis to. Now, you're going to want to choose iOS 9.1, but if for whatever reason you don't want iOS emojis, let's say you like LG, Samsung's, or uh, Google's new versions that came out called Emoji One, which are finally emojis that I actually like from Google. So far, I haven't liked anything that they've come out with, but this stuff seems to be really good. So again, if you want to do that, you can do so, but again, this is mostly about iOS 9.1, because to me, they are still the best emojis that are out there. Uh, after you do that, you're going to want to click set and then it'll say applying and blah, 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 all stuff that you don't really need to care about. Uh, but once it's done, it's going to tell you to reboot your device. So from there, after you reboot it, you're going to be able to go into Instagram, Snapchat, you know, Twitter, all that type of stuff. And all of the emojis that someone else posts are going to show up as the emoji that you chose inside of Emoji Switcher. So if you chose Google's or iOS's, they're all going to be there. And now you don't have to worry about not being able to see your friend's iPhone emojis that have the new ones because, again, you now have those baked inside of your device as well, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, no more waiting for Google to come out with their own uh, ones to match iPhones or anything of that sort. You now have all of the emojis that you could want. So, again, you can make your iPhone friends mad by sending them all the emojis that they think that you shouldn't have because let's face it, um, I have a friend who I talked to uh, who likes Android, but she told me she opted for an iPhone because of emoji. Yeah, because of emoji alone. They buy iPhones because of smiley faces, not because of the performance or the speed or the apps or anything like that. They want the emojis, but now... Again, since Android is an open platform for developers, uh, if you want something, a developer is going to eventually make it so you can get whatever, you know, the iPhone has. So that's definitely very cool. Uh, so now people don't really have to make that choice to choose between iPhone or Android just because they want to be able to use emojis. Because let's face it, everyone does use emojis. At one point, we were like, really, iPhone people, what's the big idea? But everybody uses them. That's why... It, Samsung has their own, LG has their own, Google has their own, and so on and so forth. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, suggestions, thoughts, whatever, uh, leave those in the comment sections below. And also, don't forget to subscribe so you can see these videos first as they are uploaded. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's about it for this video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Generally, uh, very nice. Uh, um, and, uh, so that's really good way to find a lot of things. Instead of searching for, you know, random.
random stuff like Halloween icon pack. It can be 